Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you Alienware AW2725DF best settings. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. Now, if you're looking for the best settings here that you might want to use to your Alienware monitor here, what we need to do is we need to discuss those settings. Now, just to give you some idea here, there are going to be a different uh, resolutions that you get here and different type of set, uh, uh, type of features that you get from the monitor itself. But again, this will actually depends on what you get. So in this case, let's go ahead and discuss first the game settings. So you want to set the game mode here to enable. To So in this case, it will actually reduce the input lag for your monitor. And also you want to enable the VVR here. And in this case, it actually enables you to use or see smoother gameplay. Also, you want to set the overdrive around medium or high, but it actually depends on your preference. So you might want to play around these settings. And also for the general settings here, you want to go ahead and set your resolution to its native resolution. So in this case, if you have like a 2560 by 11440, you could go ahead and use that uh, instead. But in my case, I was just used to use the default settings or the uh, recommended resolution for this one. And also you want to set the HDR to enable, but then again, this uh, comes down to your preference. So you want to turn this on and basically turn it off and see what works best for you. Also, you want to set your refresh rate around medium to high, but then again, this depends on your preference, but around medium to high would be good. Now for the brightness, uh, it is recommended that you adjust it to your preference, but start around 85 to 100%. Now start from 100, try using it until it's 85 and see what be works best for you. But if you want to make it a lot lower, you could go ahead and go past 85. Now for contrast, you want to set this to 75%. And sharpness is around 50%, which is the default values for both this contrast and sharpness. Now, for color, sp color space, this is just a recommendation. You could try using creator mode here so that you get accurate sRGB color reproduction. But then again, it actually depends on your taste. So you might want to play around and see what works best for you. But if you don't want to use color space here, you could turn it off or disable it. But that's about it. So everything that you see here is actually just recommendations that you could try here. So if that works, it's that's going to be great. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.